Kate and I spent last night boondocking just outside of Glacier National Park, and today we're going to go into the park. We're very excited because a lot of people have said this is their favorite national park, and we've never been. Parts of it are still closed, but we're going to see as much as we can. This video is sponsored by Storyteller Overland. Live free, explore endlessly, and tell better stories. and immediately my mind said it's a bear or it could have just been me <laughs> <laughs> well I'm really excited about going into the park today but it was a gorgeous drive over we started in northern Idaho stopped in Post Falls for some coffee at Doma and then we went and stopped at this uh, there were falls and a suspension bridge that were really cool now today the park the nice thing is there's a lot of boondocking in the area because there's currently only one campground in Glacier open. So that's really helpful for us. And the spot we found last night actually had some cell data, which was good. Although it is nice to disconnect every now and again, especially when you're in the forest. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in some of the parks has been closed, but you know, we see what we can and then it just whets our appetite to come back and see more. Okay, got the lowdown. We've got some hikes we're gonna do. You have all the notes though. I do, we're gonna do Avalanche Lake and uh, Trail of the Cedars. Okay. And potentially see some bears. The ranger said there were a thousand bears in this ecosystem. Bring the bear spray. <laughs> Make noise. Well, they said if we want to go, go now, because um, going to the Sun Road is just open right now. Okay. And they've been closing it on and off. Well, let's get there. Okay. So we did get some more information from the ranger. Currently, all the campgrounds allow pop-up style campers. However, in the fall, especially around September time frame, with all the berries and everything, there are two campgrounds in the park that may have restrictions on pop-ups because the bears will come into the campground, start picking the berries, and then they're like, oh, there's a soft-sided camper, and I know that I can tear through that and get the delicious food and people inside. So <laughs> there are some restrictions, but for the most part, there aren't any. Uh, it's good to know, but we're going to be boondocking, so if those bears can find us, then we might be in trouble. <laughs> fix this dinger <laughs> <laughs> it goes off for no reason now did you put the e-brake on I did okay that's why I put the cup on here so the <laughs> light for the e-brake uh, stopped working so I just put this <laughs> cup on there so I know cut the bear spray cut the bear spray okay. I'm gonna have to grab a jacket though and don't forget your binoculars okay 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 oh my God. did you turn all the lights off yes okay <laughs> 
see a sign for a trail this way. This hey, is my cameo. This is Kate's cameo. You get to see her in the video. <laughs> it's like an Easter egg. Yes. Can you find Kate? <laughs> you know what? Huh. On our way out, we should park like right here because there's fresh, or, ah, right there. All right, it's on so we can fill up on water. And it'll be good water. I was assuming we can get that parking spot. I think this will be our first hike in the rain. No, we've hiked in the rain before. We have? Uh-huh. Multiple times. <laughs> What's great is living with Kate, <laughs> it's always a new adventure, <laughs> no matter how many times you've done it. I have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> Every day is a new day for me. You make me laugh. Well, I was just wondering why there was a stop sign at a trail. Well, for bicyclists, maybe. It's kind of hard to believe that it's summer. Well, <laughs> we're pretty far, far north. True. Quite the payoff. Well worth it. Yeah. It's a bit crowded on the beach, but it is gorgeous out here. Lots of mosquitoes. Yes. Well, my second ever bear sighting. It was a black bear. I've not yet seen a grizzly. But we were only, what, maybe like 25, 30 yards from it when we first saw it. It's pretty awesome. It's good size, too. Yep. All right, so that's day one in the books. Got kind of muddy and we just have to rinse everything off it's one benefit of having an outdoor shower here so we're filling up the primary tank we've got 20 gallons inside and plus six in the hot water heater and we just filled up our auxiliary water tank, which has another 11 gallons. So we're pretty well set and we're gonna take a shower this evening. There's nothing quite like a nice hot shower after a five mile trek. There's not. All right, let's go find a place to camp for the night. Sounds good. a pretty nice level spot for the night it's still sunny out but it's uh what like 8 p.m right now mm -hmm. being this far north is a little trippy when you're not used to the days lasting so long but it's time for us to finally have some dinner take a nice long shower and then call it a night so we'll pick it up tomorrow at the what is that the east side of the park northeast northeast all right check out some pretty lakes yeah well i'm ready for some food all right the skeeters all right. are out come on 
Thank you. Thank you. All right, new day. It rained all last night. I expect it's gonna rain all today, but we're gonna head into the northeast side of the park, go see the lakes, um, and just do what we can in this weather. So let's get out there and enjoy it. amazing there was a 196 layer turnover um, we didn't get anything we just wanted to go in there and check it out but apparently from what the ranger told us yesterday we may not be able to get into the this side of the park today because the roads may be closed we'll see we'll find out momentarily all right well onwards to the park yep That's too bad. Well, there is a chance of thunderstorm today, so. Yeah. Well, here's what I say. Um, since such a large portion of the going to the sun road is closed because of all the snow and everything, unfortunately, I think we've seen what we can see so far of Glacier National Park. We can go check out that Camas Road the ranger suggested where all the um, wildlife viewing is or some of the best wildlife viewing. Is it Camus or Camus? She said Camus. Okay. Um, sorry for the bumpy road. And then let's regroup in West Glacier and maybe just call it and come back another time when the weather's a bit better. Sounds good to me. Today's a good day for a scenic drive. Yes, I'm getting muddy. <laughs> this road is something else. <laughs> that was a fun puddle. Doesn't matter where you are, that's fun. spend our afternoon here looking for grizzlies but so far we've seen pretty much all of glacier that we're going to be able to see so i want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching if you enjoyed this please give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more cool content head on over to our website at wherethrussos.com and while i've been doing this i realized that my glasses and my hat are all crooked <laughs> see you guys this video was brought to you by Storyteller Overland, who has been working to inspire and equip their growing community of road trippers, van lifers, off-roaders, and overlanders with the proper gear, resources, and mindset to live free, explore endlessly, and tell better stories out on the road and beyond. Head over to StorytellerOverland.com to learn more.